What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Um, I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm about to be turning over my slants from um, the summer. So every six months or so, I like to transfer my mycelium from my mother culture slants to fresh new slants, and then I put them into long-term storage. And that way, I always have a backup culture of all the strains that I'm working with. So I just wanted to go through some slant culture care and um, just preparation strategies for storing these, bringing them out um, to make your transfers onto fresh plates. So I just recently transferred all these mycelium um, mated pairings onto slants. So this is potato dextrose agar. I usually rotate between malt extract and potato dextrose when I'm doing my long-term storage. So you can see this one here is on malt extract, so I would go ahead and put this one onto potato dextrose. And that just kind of keeps um, the mycelium more rigorous. Um, it keeps it healthier by switching up the nutrients so it doesn't get um, used to the same food source. So. Um, someone asked me recently when is a good time to put your slant into long-term storage so I like to shoot for about 80% mycelial growth um, this is more like 60 to 70% I would wait a little bit longer with this one but if I was in a pinch it would probably be okay um, this one's a better example so this is the ideal stage um, this is a Namico mushroom before or this is the stage I would put it into a long-term storage so what I'm um, saying when I talk about long-term is just refrigeration so I've got a refrigerator here that goes to about 40 degrees and then I've got my walk-in that goes between 37 and 40 um, but some people are weary about keeping um, more tropical species like a pink oyster or a golden oyster so I keep them right with, um, this, is a, this is a golden oyster here. Um, I believe I have some more, yep, this is a golden oyster from June. So they can survive temperatures in the 40s. You wanna avoid freezing, but if you are um, extra precautious and you're worried that some of your warmer strains might not last in cold storage, you can keep them at the at the very entrance of your walk-in um, where it's about 50 degrees i i also keep a backup of these in my utility closet that that pretty much stays in the 50s and um, i feel like it it helps to have extra backups in case something did happen the worst case scenario is that the the cooler would um, maybe lose power and it's just going to raise the temperature and um, that is, brings me to my next point. So once you pull out your cultures from long-term storage, um, you wanna bring them out for a couple days just to give them a chance to come out of their hibernation mode and start growing again. So I'll just be pulling these out for our spring production and I have about 30 more phenotypes that I'm going to be adding to my library. but before I put them in, um, you can just really screw them tight. There is enough air inside this chamber in vitro to keep the mushroom going when it's in a cooler environment. Another extra precaution is to add parafilm to the outside here. And this will just prevent, um, prevent damage in between transportation. So when you're moving, them around on racks if you don't have parafilm it could knock off the lid and because this is our mother culture we want to keep them um, extra sterile so you can wrap the parafilm around there and also if you're using the glass tubes um, this is a, a rosebud that I've been bringing back from freeze drying but oftentimes these lids will get pretty loose too so it's a good idea to parafilm um, these glass tubes as well. The green conical tubes, not so much. 
you can get a pretty airtight seal but I like to throw some parafilm on the glass tubes if I'm using these for long-term storage so they are another option however you have to use a loop because a normal scalpel won't really get in there um, it's a little bit more tricky but it is a safer tube compared to these conical tubes because the opening is much less so there's less risk for a contamination but I really like working with the, the conical tubes just because how easy they are to handle and use the scalpel. Alright guys give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that quick video on how to care for your mycelium and slant cultures and um, check out our Etsy shop Fresh Fungi. We've got a ton of different varieties of mushrooms and as soon as we get our mushrooms fruited for spring we'll be putting our new cultures up on our Etsy. Um, that's etsy.com backslash shop backslash fresh fungi. All right, until next time, much love.